Alright you guys, so I just want to say before the video begins, uh, I just want to let you guys know that, you know, I don't re usually do this, I usually like decide oh, I'm gonna just take all the swearing out of the scripts before I actually record, but I'm just so angry at Kurger, I just cannot bring myself to censor myself when I'm, if I'm gonna rant about them. So, if you're, like, one of the types of people that don't really like swearing in videos, then I guess, like, I guess don't watch this video, because I will be swearing a lot. But, uh, anyways, I'm just, I'm just fed up with Kurger and the decisions they have, they just decide to randomly make with their pharmacy. They, like, they literally only care about themselves. So, here's a little bit of, like, backstory, so, like, and, like, ever since, like, the start of 2020, my insurance decided, oh, we're gonna stop, uh, dealing with some pharmacies, pharmacies, and so, it just so happened that my old pharmacy was one of the ones they discontinued, like, dealing with, and so, the only other one we had was really Kroger's, because, like, they're close, and, and they're not really close, but like the closest pharmacy, in case I need to walk, if there's something screwing up with the car, which, like, our car has been pretty much dead for the past few months, so, yeah, that's lovely, but, anyway, ever since we were forced to switch to them, they have continued to fuck up so many of my prescriptions, and, like, in fact, in the last four months of 2020, where I got my computer back, these complete fucking idiots screwed up so many times that I ended up making three different scripts where I was gonna rant about how bullshit they are, but I decided not to upload them because I wanted to wait a few days until, like, maybe some new information about everything came to light, but there was never really anything new at all, really. And then by then, I just forgot why I was so angry about it in the first place. And, like, you know, I don't want to rant about something that I don't remember why I was so pissed off in the first place, you know? Just, just, I don't remember. It's not important. But this time, enough is enough, Kroger. Like, stop screwing up your pharmacy. And, like, okay, so let's get into the 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 main part of the video and so do you guys know how we're currently in a global pandemic and companies all over are trying to take measures so that you don't really have to interact with anyone or like basically even have to leave the house at all okay well some fucking buddy over at Kroger Pharmacy decided that one day in the middle of the pandemic literally in the middle it was literally like late, I think it was, like, late fall of 2020, they, deci they decided to suddenly stop delivering refrigerated medication, and so now you have all these different companies like Walmart and other uh, places making, trying to make sure people are safe at home so that they don't have to catch, I'm just gonna call it the C-bomb, so, but anyway, so that they don't have to catch the C-bomb, and then that work is entirely undone by companies like Kroger, because you still have to go outside anyway, essentially undoing all of that work. Like, wow, dude, are you serious? And by doing this, they are essentially putting other people's lives in just as much danger than if they never went to get their prescriptions at all. And like, and t until yesterday, I was stuck in my home for a week, and I wasn't able to get my prescriptions until, obviously, yesterday. And do you want to know what that medication does? It keeps my blood sugar from just spiking. And because of this, for the past week, every morning when I wake up, my blood sugar is in the high 500s. And just, like, some, like, really close to 600 a couple of times. And do you want to know something? People have literally passed out and died before from it being in the low 500s. So for an entire week, I have been at risk of literally not waking the fuck up in the morning. 
This would never have been a risk in the first place if Kroger decided to keep delivering refrigerated medication because I would have been able to get it a lot sooner than having to go an entire week of not having it. And, and like, you know, what if an old person, all right, Let's picture this, an old person who has, needs a refrigerated medication, right? They don't have a car, they don't live close to Kroger's, they don't have any friends or family nearby they could ask to drive them there, and, you know, maybe... Sorry about that, <laughs> I just had Wendy's, but, uh, and, but, like, and he maybe he, you know, doesn't have ubers or taxis maybe he lives in the middle of bumfuck nowhere kind of like me <laughs> and you know how what is he supposed to do to get his prescriptions you know i i guess they're pretty fucked then kroger you know you obviously don't care krogers because like you, you you keep kept this decision and like this is just the dumbest decision they have ever made for their pharmacy and like i put this video off for around three to four months because I thought they would have enough sense to revert this change. But no, you still you still have to go to them during a global fucking pandemic to collect your prescriptions. And then even after all that, these assholes will put it in back on the shelf if you don't pick it up in time. Like it's like if you you still if you still delivered it to us, we would we everything would be fine, you know? But, anyways, that's the really all I've got for today. Uh, again, sorry, I don't really, I usually don't, uh, I usually try to not cuss in my videos. I know a lot of people don't like cussing in their videos, but, like, this is, this was too much for me. This was my breaking point for Kroger's. I just had to, like, go, I just, I refuse to censor my sh myself but, uh, anyways, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and, uh, turn on the notification bell to be notified of when I upload. Bye, guys.